Hiking on the trails in the Bay Area has a meditative quality for me. The combination of pushing myself and focusing on every next step really clears the mind and allows for focus on the next challenge ahead. We've all been touched by friends, family members who have succumbed to cancer of one form or another. My dear mother uh, passed away a couple of years ago from late stage ovarian cancer and her experience really demonstrated just how powerless I felt and my, uh, my siblings and my family felt in terms of what we could do for her this is what motivates me to get up every morning, get here, and lead this team to making the biggest difference we can. Cancer research has really changed a lot in my time in this field. So we have many more tools now at our disposal, which allows for progress to be made uh, more quickly than ever. How are your uh, caffeine levels today? Moderate. Got to keep the levels up. Yes. We're all driven by the mission to help people and, and treat disease and cure people of otherwise debilitating disease. Fulfilling that mission can take many different avenues, including working in the lab, working as a physician, taking care of patients, even including someone like myself doing clinical research, designing clinical trials to determine whether or not a drug works or not in patients. I think collectively, we're all part of this singular mission We've known for more than 100 years, if you can activate the immune system, the immune system can eliminate cancer. There have been some remarkable advances over the last decade or so, and in some cases, patients treated with immunotherapy, it can start to look like a cure. And of course, that's the holy grail for all of us working in cancer biology, is to find the cure for cancer. Breakthroughs are very, very difficult to achieve because human biology itself is just extremely complex. Cancer cells and normal cells actually share a lot of similarities. That overlap between cancer cells and normal cells is probably part of the reason why it's so challenging to treat patients with cancer. One of the challenges with immunotherapy that we've seen is that all too often it leads to activation of the immune system throughout the entire patient's body, and this can lead to significant unwanted side effects, but wouldn't it be great if we could go even one step further and take the immunotherapies and localize them more effectively into the cancer tissue so we could dampen down some of these whole body side effects. Here at Cytomics, what we're working on is something we call conditional activation. This is a process where we take an antibody and we add a mask which blocks the ability of the antibody to see cells until the mask is removed. Mask removal happens selectively in cancer tissue where enzymes, proteins called proteases, remove the mask, allowing the therapy to see cancer cells and eliminate them, but sparing healthy tissues. As our basic understanding of this biology continues to deepen with these new tools and uh, new techniques, uh, then the, the window gets ever wider uh, in terms of our ability to, to see what's going on in cancer and to develop drugs uh, to combat it. Biotechnology is a very experimental business and it takes incredible perseverance and persistence because sometimes the experiments that we run don't work or they don't give you the outcome that perhaps you were uh, anticipating. Uh, but it's the uh, the occasional success when you get that result that really shows you that you're on the right path that is just so exciting. Ultimately, we'll make the biggest difference by being different, having the courage to take on big challenges. That's the way you will have the biggest impact. And we really do believe that the work we're doing has the potential to make a monumental difference in the treatment of cancer over time. Thank you.